What is going on guys, welcome to this video, my name is Cameron Hall and in a few hours Spider-Man PS4 is possibly going to be shown at E3 in Sony's press conference and it, obviously in the UK it's going to be like 2am or something so I'm probably going to be dying by the time we get to that but in the meantime I thought, do you know what, there's only a couple of hours left why don't I make a video on the things I want to see at this E3 conference if they show gameplay then that is awesome but some of the mechanics I want to see in the gameplay and stuff like that so let's just hurry up and get into it without further ado number one on this list is if they do show gameplay I actually want to see maybe Peter Parker being able to run through an alley when you see a crime and then changing to Spider-Man and then swing out of the alleyway and then go and fight the bad guy like something like that would be so awesome especially because it's on next gen we've been asking for it for years and so it would just be an awesome thing to have and probably one of my most anticipated things to ever have in a spider-man game so hopefully they do that or, or maybe something just along those lines anyway it'd be awesome number two isn't something that i kind of wish as a game mechanic because we already know it's coming but something i hope they definitely show off in the gameplay if they do gameplay and that is free running now of course we know that Spider-Man's a free runner. We've seen in the recent trailer, well, I say recent trailer, I mean the reveal trailer from like a year ago. We saw Spider-Man doing free running through a coffee shop, doing a bunch of flips, bouncing off walls, flying through glass windows. I just want to see how that kind of works. Like, do you guide Spider-Man through there when he does that? Or do you just press a button and he does it? Is it like Web Rush from the Amazing Spider-Man games? What is the whole gist on that kind of game mechanic? I hope you show that off especially because they have mentioned it's apparently never before seen Spider-Man mechanics in terms of free running and traversing through the city etc so yeah that's something I hope we see in the gameplay as well if they show gameplay. Third on the wish list is the inclusion of having you know random crimes throughout the city unlimited crimes like that's something that we've always had pretty much anyway except for the Amazing Spider-Man 2. One thing that I would actually really love to have is like actual main villains committing these crimes so you could be swinging around the city minding your own business and then all of a sudden Rhino has crashed into a bank or Mysterio has just decided to rob some jewelers or something like that. You know, just actual main villains causing crimes, just like in the Spider-Man cartoons, just like in the Spider-Man comics. Like, just because you go up against, like, Mysterio or Green Goblin or something like that, it doesn't have to be, like, this massive main event mission that's going on. It can just be you swinging through the city, and it just so happens a villain is committing a crime, as villains do. So that is a, probably one of the most major things that are on this list. Okay, so next up isn't really a major sort of game mechanic but it's something that's kind of been lacking in the recent spider-man games that have come out over the last few years and that is being able to web criminals to lamp posts like that is something that i'm pretty sure every spider-man fan and spider-man game fan has always wanted to like it happens in the comics it happens in the spider-man 2 movie and it happens in like the spider-man tv series everything like that why can we not have that so that is something that I hope uh, Insomniac Games actually throw into that game or just in general, can we just see it happen? Is there a button to do it? Just let us have it. So I think this is maybe an obvious one because I keep going between like sort of wishing things that were in the game and then of course things that I wish we will see at E3. Insomniac Games have already said plenty of times on Twitter and in interviews that the best Spider-Man stories is when Peter Parker's life and Spider-Man's life collide and that is something that I hope we see in the E3 gameplay that we see Spider-Man and Peter Parker and just if we can play Peter Parker you know what kind of missions are we going to see because it really does seem like this Spider-Man PS4 game is going to be focusing on Peter Parker's story and we just kind of get to play Spider-Man in between sort of thing it's going to be awesome and I think last but not least for this list guys we are kind of running out of space just because like I'm kind of wishing for things that are in the game and then I'm also wishing for things that we see at E3 so I can't keep going back and forth to both but the last and final thing is maybe other superheroes appearing in the game. So for instance, Iron Man, Ant-Man, The Hulk, Thor, Captain America. Obviously, this isn't part of the Spider-Man Homecoming game, but it shares some similarities and this is a Marvel game technically. So hopefully it can be connected to like that Marvel sort of comic book universe where we bump into other heroes and yeah, just include other superheroes even if they don't even help us in any way just maybe have them flying around the city have the avengers tower in there or something i don't know but either way it will be interesting to maybe pass tony stark in the street or something 
I don't know. But guys, let me know what you thought in the comment section below. What would you like to see at the gameplay slash showing of Spider-Man PS4 at E3? Hit the like button on this video, hit the subscribe button to stay updated with all of Spider-Man PS4 news. And of course, leave a comment, let me know what you thought in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.